Hello and welcome to another tutorial. We are discussing about the Catalyst Builder and how it works. You will change everything in seconds and you will see it live. It is intuitive and simple. But to see how it works, let's first customize the site. Always when customizing the site, you, you will see these useful tips that include some shortcut functions that you can use. After installing the theme, the site will look something like this. That's because you need to choose a front page. Let's go to static front page, choose a static page, and select the front page that you want to show. Here I'm choosing home, and about post page I'm choosing the block default. Here you can edit page settings that we are going to do later. And on the plus icon you can add a new page. As you can see everything is happening live and it is so practical for you to use. But let's see how the page builder really works. Let's go to general options, page builder. As you can see this is empty. It works like this. You click on an element and its options show on the page builder like this. These are the column options that we are going to discuss later. The same thing works for every element. About the portfolio, we, we got some innovative setting this time, but we are going to save that later for another tutorial, so stay tuned. Here is just a showcase of what you can do. Anyway, if you got further questions or for more detailed information about Cutlass Builder, go check the fully documentation on Cutlass Builder section. Now it's time to show you a useful tip. If you press shift and drag the mouse up and down, you can adjust the padding, the margins of the element between the element and the columns or between the element and the row. You can also do it the old way, but this way is more easy and it's fun. It's like using Photoshop. Let's add an element on the header and see how they work. Easily add an, an element by clicking on the left corner of the element column or row. On the header we can, also, we can uh, use these elements. I'm choosing the show social icons. And by dragging you can place the element everywhere you want. On the left side we have the social icon options, but we are going to see this element on another story. You can also add elements by clicking the top of the footer on the black line. And you can add any element that you want. Here I'm adding a row. You can drag and drop the row wherever you want. You can also divide the row into sections. By sections we mean columns. You can customize it as you wish by clicking the new option and add your values. Here are the row options that we are going to discuss later. You can also clone the row. It will appear on the same page and you can drag and drop it. Anyway, let's add some elements inside the row. Here I'm customizing some of the options. Add an element by clicking on the same corner. I'm adding a service element. This is just showcase how the editing of the elements works and how simple it is. To fully customize any element, you can always customize the row options and the column options because they are all connected to each other. Despite the page builder, we also have the header builder. It includes the menu, the menu tools. And 
by clicking any header element, it will appear on the header builder. It works the same as the page builder. And this is all we got today about the Codeless Builder. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you on another tutorial. Have a good day.